Bacteria play a huge role in our world, and the same can be said for our aquariums. From helping to keep things clean, breaking down waste, and even helping our tanks get cycled, bacteria are there. Hi there! I'm Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Today we are going to talk to Kenneth, who is the owner of Hydrospace LLC, one of the newcomers to the bacterial product market here in the aquarium realm. So let's go meet Kenneth and talk a little bit about purple non-sulfur bacteria. Now, Kenneth is the creator and founder of Hydrospace, and I feel like Hydrospace is one of the newer bacterial products that has come into the aquarium market, but you've been doing this for quite some time, right? Uh, Hydrospace was founded in 2019, okay. and the idea came about in around, two, around 2016, so I've been studying it for a little while now, purple non-sulfur bacteria anyway. All right. Now, this video itself is going to be just a brief overview of a couple of the products that saltwateraquarium.com carries. However, if you're watching this and you're really interested, Kenneth has done some amazing videos. Um, Wrapping with Reef Bum is one of them. Just go and search for them. You guys go down some serious rabbit holes that are absolutely fascinating. So if you want the rabbit hole, that's where to go to find it. But let's get started talking about your products. Now, saltwateraquarium.com sells three of them. So first one is the purple non-sulfur bacteria. That's the ProBio. There's one that is the substrate sauce and yellow snow. But am I correct that the substrate sauce is kind of being phased out? Yes, um, it's available at this time, but at some time in the near future, we are going to uh, develop a new and improved PNS ProBio. That is going to have three species uh, so that'll include the two species that are already in substrate sauce mm -hmm. having all three in one product will just make things simpler for everybody and it'll actually be uh, a little better than any than either of the two were prior sounds good so you can look forward to seeing those when they come out but let's go ahead and get started we'll talk about probio first that was your first product right mm -hmm. that was our flagship product so can you tell me a little bit about when people should be using this in their tanks and maybe how to use it and if there's things that they shouldn't be doing when they use it? Um, in terms of like safety, there really isn't anything you can do that would be harmful. So I wouldn't say there's, you can't really overdose, for example, and they can't go pathogenic. Uh, PNS ProBio is really kind of a, a, a a general purpose product. In fact, it's made in a freshwater culture and can be used in a freshwater system as well. Um, but again, it can be, we consider it a food, but it has the added benefits of performing denitrification and clearing up a lot of uh, dissolved organic wastes. Okay. So it does, it really sounds like an all in one product. It is. It's, we, we like to say it's a food that cleans up after itself. <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, so that is ProBio. Let's talk a little bit about yellow snow. This is a coral food, right? Or more than a coral food? Uh, it's a coral food, but we like to call it a reef food because it actually feeds the entire reef system. In fact, it was oh. uh, formulated as a companion product to PNS ProBio. It has, uh, the, for example, the entire beef vitamin complex and a lot of purple uh, non-sulfur bacteria actually that was one of their only weaknesses they're pretty versatile but they do have b vitamin requirements each species mm -hmm. a different one so this was designed to satisfy that so uh even at the very very bottom of the food chain you can support the growth of for example nitrobacter and nitrifying bacteria has a vitamin b12 requirement so uh, uh bacteria all the way up to copepods will eat it and so forth so kind of from the base of the food chain all the way up um it's uh just it simulates marine snow, by the way. So, oh, okay. actually, yeah. So, real quick, like, uh, so this was PNS ProBio. Okay. And this has Rhodopseudomonas palustris in it, uh, as evidenced by the color, kind of a reddish carotenoid. Yeah. And yellow snow is actually made with uh, Rhodopseudomonas, though, um, because there's very heterotrophic conditions, they don't make the photosynthetic pigments. Mm -hmm. um, 
but uh, basically this is like a marine snow. So it goes, it's clear, but when you shake it, you get these clumps because they stick together like marine snow. And you just shake it up a little bit and you get these little tiny particles that float around. But it's more like real marine snow because it's actually uh, made in a with live bacteria and there's a whole process where the uh, bacteria populate uh, little particles that stick together. Okay, interesting. So talking, you kind of mentioned these two products work well together. There's a lot of bacterial products that are out on the market and I don't expect you to know all of these, but can your products be used with any other bacterial products or any other products that are on the market for that matter? Um, yeah, so one of the impediments to being able to uh, answer a question like that is not knowing what are in a lot of the products that are out there. But mm -hmm. as far as we know, there aren't any products that we that I would say you shouldn't use our products with, if that makes sense. Yeah. There are definitely some that would complement each other. Uh, for example, like Benepets, oh, okay. which has uh, lactobacillus in it. Rhodosudomonas has been shown to actually promote the growth of lactobacillus. So instead of being redundant, say when used as a probiotic, uh, the rhodosudomonas can actually improve the performance of the lactobacillus that is in benefits. Very so interesting. If you put them, so if you use it as a food and you put probio in your foods, which is actually how we recommend using it now, uh -huh. um, it'll actually improve. Uh, it, it, the probio will not only carry its own benefits, but it will actually uh, increase the benefits of the other foods as well. That's fascinating. Specifically the probiotics in those foods. Wow. All right, well, we are running short on time, but when I was at Reefstock, I saw that you had these um, brightly colored red cubes, if you will, sitting on your table. I asked you about them and you said that maybe you could give us a tour. Are you still up for giving us a tour? Of course, those are the typical culture vessels we use. Mm -hmm. That was a two and a half gallon size, but um, the only difference between those and the ones you'll see in this video are that we grow in a five gallon size. Oh. So okay. a little bigger, but um, that that just gives you an idea of what they look like firsthand. And here now we get to see how they're actually made. I can say that this is going to be one of the most honest to goodness tours of the facility in terms of just showing what it looks like in our day to day operations. For those of you who haven't seen any of our content before, this is what we call the kitchen. It's where we do all of our brewing and all of our bottling. So basically everything uh begins and ends in this little space back here uh, and i guess uh some microscopy as well so uh, a little bit of uh, research and quality control as well but most of the action actually happens back here around the corner in the grow room everything is brightly illuminated right now some of the lights are off uh, it's the end of the light cycle but these are photosynthetic bacteria and that's why they're so brightly pigmented. We have three species and they differ a little bit from their pigments. It, to the trained eye, you can actually tell which one is which. This is Rhodosudomonas, the one uh, you're most familiar with in uh, PNS ProBio. Uh, more recently, we've picked up Rhodobacter and uh, Rhodospirulum. Uh, soon, all three will be in I guess what you could say is going to be a new and improved PNS ProBio. Uh, I guess you can see all the different stages of growth here in the Rhodobacter, showing how they progressively darken as they get older. But they start out like this in these five gallon, clear, collapsible polyethylene cubitainers, as they call them. They, because they're clear, they really work well for growing something photosynthetic and we can just seal them up uh, and let them sit in the light for about a month because they're photosynthetic and they're anaerobic, so no need for aeration or anything like that. The little bit of green here is just from the vitamins in the culture medium. Uh, some formulas are actually just clear, but in any case, they, after inoculation, they just kind of start out pinkish uh, orange or pinkish purple and then progress to the darker colors that you see around here. A little bit low on stock right now. We got blasted recently. Uh, typically, we try to keep all the racks full. This is a new toy of ours, a centrifuge. And with this, we will be trying to uh, 
produce a powder, uh, actually a paste that we will then uh, freeze dry into a powder that might be added to foods or maybe something you can add directly to the water. So always something new going on around here, uh, growing, changing. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for having me. If anyone out there would like to learn more about what we do or the bacteria that we use in our products, just go ahead and visit the blog at hydrospace.store. Well, thank you so much to Kenneth for taking the time to talk to us a little bit about Hydrospace and the different products. Like he said, if you have questions, you can leave a comment below or reach out to him directly. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.